Hi guys and welcome to the Craft Beer Channel. Today I'm down at Beaver Town Extravaganza, which has to be the widest, most amazing and warmest beer festival ever to have graced the UK. Uh, I am going around making some videos with all the kind of guys that I would never get to see uh, if it weren't for this incredible festival down uh, in Canada Water. So the intro may be the same. In fact, it will be the same for most of these videos. However, uh, the interviews that come after it are with some of the best breweries in the world, drinking some of the best beers in the world, have some insights which, uh, in particular with Della Sen, the, the kind of contradicts everything I've ever said on the channel. So it's really interesting, give it a look. Uh, we have three videos coming, so watch out for them. Uh, guys, next year, you need to be extravagant. from Delisen, uh, one of my beer heroes. He has gone me through many a night uh, with Taras Bulba and indeed many a hangover with Taras Bulba because it, yeah, one of those things you have when you had too much. It's manageable hangover yeah. <laughs> because the beer is light. Exactly. Uh, but we're talking about a different beer today. Um, so I, I came to the Delisen stand uh, probably looking for some uh, Taras Bulba. Uh, but what I came across was the Saison. What is that is our freedom um, brand for beers. When you want to try something, uh, we call it Modesta. It can be really anything. But what is that number seven is our take on a traditional way for making uh, all size saisons, like in the, the 19th century. Uh, at the time, most of those beers, they were uh, blend beer. We, we say in French, bière de coupage. And it means that you take a fresh, uh, young, hoppy beer, and then you blend it with a no sour beer. And uh, that was the taste that the people wanted at the time to find in most of the beers and especially in saisons. So the story I've been, I've been peddling on the channel is that uh, a saison is brewed maybe around Christmas in the depths of winter and it's, it's aged for five, six months until the summer yeah, and the saison airs, yeah, seasonal yeah, workers' yeah, cup. Yeah, yeah. But what you're saying is not only that, it was also then cut with a, a sour beer. They, they, they would brew uh, a, a beer that they would age for minimum six months and it would be drunk as is. Or they would keep a part of this batch and age it for longer, it would turn very sour and use this very beer for, for blending with, with a younger beer. And the younger beer they would brew would still be brewed in the cold season because at the time you could not brew during uh, summertime, otherwise your beer would be too heavily infected. But they would brew it as the, at the latest moment they could, like in end of March, early April, it was still possible to brew at the time. And right before releasing the beer uh, for the, the farmers on the field in the summer, they would make this blend. So, I mean, blend, blending is seen as, as a, a, a lambic process, but blending is throughout Belgian beer culture. Definitely. I, I, I consider that if you take the 19th century Belgian brewing, probably 70% of the Belgian beers were blended with, with, with something. Right. Uh, young beer with, with an old beer and, and, and stuff. So, so this beer that we have, so this, this is with Cantillon. Is yeah. it their, their, their Lambic, a young or an old Lambic? Uh, it's a 18 months old Lambic that, okay. that, 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 that we use. So the so bread start it, to it, kick it, in it, and it's Yeah, it had already its character yeah. and it gives a lot of freshness actually. The, the, the interesting thing to see with, with this beer that most of the people always think that bitterness and sourness don't go along well together. But here we started with our Staras Boba, which is quite bitter beer. And then the, the County Lambic is quite sour, but it really matches well together. And then the, it makes a beer that is extremely refreshing. Yeah. And, uh, and that, that was typical of saisons. We had saisons that were extremely, well, not extremely, but very sour, like a goose could be. And on a blind test, I had the chance to taste some very old ones. It could have been a, a goose while it was a saison. Some other other versions, they were uh, sour and bitter together, actually. Well, what, what it means is you get this gorgeous um, 
a real kick at the end. So you, you mm. get the, the bitterness at the, of the, the top of the mouth and the back of the throat, mm. but you also get that lovely sourness. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Hits the cheeks. It's a and, very uh, rounded, kind of yeah. very balanced beer, yeah. which you don't get from bitter, sour, a little bit of sweetness. And yeah. Yeah. It makes me want to go harvesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, but hopefully we'll have a, a long talk with you. I know you love Harvey's best. Uh, oh, my yeah, ambition definitely. is to take you yeah. for a pint of Harvey's best at some point for a chat. Oh, I would love that. I would love it. <laughs> I, I was at their prep the Royal Oak uh, two, two days yesterday, actually. Yeah. Yeah, each time I'm in, I'm in London, I there. drink Harvey's. <laughs> and, and, and London Pride also. <laughs> For well, sure. well, yeah, absolutely. Well, until then, yeah. thank you so much. Cheers, thank Peaceful you. Beer. Cheers.